Alright. Alright. Um. Oh. Ah, zombie. Alright. So. I'm not sure if you can tell already, but you may have missed part of the episode. I've actually had a bit of a strained voice the past couple of days from recording too much, but don't worry, I'm back, and I'm feeling a whole lot better. So how about we recap the past few days in my Okapicraft world? So, I was just gonna put on some music for this time lapse. I, I thought it would be rather nice this way, but I was afraid you, met, you would miss my exquisite voice. And of course, the editor's exquisite text. <laughs> so, um, yeah, why don't I explain to you how I built this rather crazy contraption. Now, the iron farm is beautifully simple. I mean, it's just a water path taking iron golems into lava, and collecting the iron. You know, and huge thanks to Waddles for the tutorial. It wasn't that easy to follow in survival mode, but I managed to do it all right. And I have a ton of iron now thanks to him. So I'll link that in the description. Now, this was a very ambition- Now this was a very ambitious project to build, and it took me several hours to even get the villagers into their little cells. It's like villagers have something in their pathfinding algorithm that says they can't go in boats or minecarts. Like, it took me an entire hour just to get a villager into a minecart and send it up into its cell. Now the zombie was a lot easier because all I had to do was get him to follow me. And after that, it was pretty much smooth sailing. Iron golems kept spawning, and they killed me a couple of times. I think I also got killed by a creeper once while building this, but that's besides the point. I managed to build it, and I'm actually pretty proud of myself. This is a really good industrial farm, and I feel like it's going to be really integral to the rest of Okapicraft. So one of the first major changes that you might notice is my mob farm. Now last time you were here, this was just a big old hole, but now it's full of layers, mobs, and magma. And as you can see, they're all falling down. It's hilarious. And now they will burn. <laughs> I really gotta work on my evil laugh. Alright, so the last project that I want to work on for today's episode is enchanting my equipment. Now, I apologize for the low frame rate. For some reason, it's being a little bit laggy. And by a little bit, I mean 10 FPS, but... Eh, still tolerable somewhat. Let's check out the drops from my mob farm and build the enchanting table down here. Alright, so none of these drops seem that great, but maybe they'll be useful sooner or later. And this seems like a pretty cool spot for our enchanting table. Unfortunately, I don't have enough levels to get anything decent, so I guess I should wait to get more books and more levels until I upgrade my items. So, you know what? I, I think I'll call this episode. Hi friends, my computer just crashed again, and I figured, you know what? Better time to end the episode than never. You know, it was a really good episode. It was really productive. We created a really cool iron farm. A really cool mob farm and well yeah we are getting to a really high skill level in Minecraft and as you can see I have a whole bunch of iron blocks a whole bunch of materials and I'm really excited for whatever is going to come next as always it was a really great video I had a 
fun time recording, and I can't wait to see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.